What's up, my friend? My name is Andre. I'll be reacting to Brits tried the best fried chicken in America. But before I go into that, can I ask you for one thing, my friend? If you can leave a like on this video, thank you so much for that. It's the best way to show support. If you can subscribe, oh man, in that case, forget about it. You make my day. Have that in consideration. Now, link for the original video in my description. You guys end up recommending this one quite a lot, so let's play it. Hi, I'm Josh. Hi. Hey. And today we are going to try the best fried chicken in America. Let's do it. Like the America. <laughs> what do you mean? It's a big place. It's a big place. <laughs> There's a lot of fried chicken. Willie Mays, established in New Orleans, 1957, okay. been awarded multiple times as the best fried chicken in all of America. It's a big. Honestly, that's crazy. Because Americans have a lot of amazing restaurants when it comes to fried chicken. But how can they be so sure this is the best place? Okay, this is a really big claim. Big claim. Let's see what it's about. <laughs> Let's do it. Love fried chicken. Cannot wait. The thing is, there's a lot of fried chicken around the mm. world, right? It's not a niche thing. It's a saturated it's not market. Like fried pigeon, you know? If you set up a restaurant and said we're going to have the best fried pigeon in the world, uh, yeah. I'd probably believe you. Yeah. But what type of comparison was that? Fried pigeon? Could be good. Fried fly. chicken? It's the main thing they do, fry. <laughs> <laughs> well, they don't fly. They don't fly, so... but they do fry. <laughs> That's true. Oh, that is Whoa. a big tray of food. Oh my oh. gosh. Wow, that looks really good. It looks very different from... Okay, not sure if this is the camera. To be honest, I'm looking very yellow today. When I'm, this light is... I have to check out this after the video, but not sure if this is the camera they are using. But that food is looking tremendous. Oh man, look at the colors. Fried chicken I've had before. It almost looks like... Oh, this, is look oh, this, this looks really good, actually. Oh no. Oh, oh, better saying, oh yes, not oh no. <laughs> Like yeah. fish and chips. Look at the size wow. of that bread. Oh, that's, that's big. Like Dusty Look chicken. The... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Cheers. Here we go. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Dude, that looks insane. And I'm already. Did you guys saw the crispy when they? Oh, this will be good. Mm. Holy moly! Holy that moly! Yeah. Is so well seasoned. I think that's the crispiest chicken I've ever bitten into. Mm. Dude, looks kind of... Oh, honestly, again, the colors are so vi vibrant. And the sound... Of course, I cannot taste, as you can imagine. But seems really, really good. Oh, I'm really impressed on this one, I have to admit. The batter is just perfect. But do, do you guys think this will be better than, for example, going to Texas, Louisiana, the South, and asking in a small restaurant for fried chicken? Do I have to go to this place? Probably not, right? Um, but looking amazing. And yeah, the meat inside, like that's white meat. It's so juicy still. So yeah, I believe juicy. it. Look how juicy mm. oh that my. meat is. Mm -hmm. That chicken was well that looks really good. Am I tripping on this? The, okay, the food looks incredible. Even the things they have on the plate. Oh man, I, I also want to check that. Hydrated. <laughs> By the way, leave a like if you enjoy this um, Portuguese reactions to American food. I think that's the best way to put it. I think genuinely that's the juiciest chicken I've ever had. It's yeah, I so believe it. juicy. One thing I should say though, you've got to embrace the grease. Yeah. I that's the good thing because you go... That's really, really good. You could probably change the oil in a car. Could be disgusting for someone, I guess, but uh, not for me. Oh. <laughs> With just, just by wringing your yeah, fingers yeah, into it. Yeah. Uh, should we try some of the sides? Yeah. Okay, first off, <laughs> we both have a little bit of cornbread, which I love. This is such a southern thing. Oh, I never tried co cornbread. Do you guys like cornbread? I, I bet it's, it's a bit sweet, right? Because corn by itself is a bit sweet. Could be really good, actually. This is this is the cornbread. This is cornbread. I thought this was a muffin. It looks like a little muffin. Yeah, yeah it looks like a muffin. Yeah. I love muffins. So. Oh baby, that's so good. That's yeah. so good. I'm not a huge fan of cornbread. It tastes like a muffin that you missed an ingredient. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> you know, a slightly savoury muffin. Slightly to be honest, the food is looking really good. <laughs> okay. Look at this mash of gravy. This is like 
a southern fried chicken class and get stuck in. Okay. Mmm. That gravy. Whoa. Is strong. Yeah, there's a lot of flavor in that. There's like, as a Brit, not used to that many spices in my gravy. In our gravy. Wow. <laughs> that packs a punch. Look at that gumbo. There's literally oh, like no. seafood tails. Okay, again, I know I'm repeating myself on this one, but please tell me in the comments, the presentation is, is fantastic on the food. Everything looks so, so good on the plate. Oh man, I would love to try this actually. Oh wow, oh, that's beautiful. Well, that's really seafoody. Yeah. I really like that's that. Strong. strong. Very yeah. salty. Makes me want a bit more chicken. You got a leg. I've got this giant thigh. I thunder thigh. Is it? <laughs> oh, it is. It's a thunder thigh. This is like a track cyclist thigh. It's amazing. Dude, that looks. <laughs> that's tremendous. <laughs> and kind of disgusting. Kind of if like, you look at them whoa, too long. Yeah, 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 yeah try yeah. it. It doesn't look human. No. All right. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. So crispy. Mm. Information, mm. please. Mm. I think as I bit into that, a bit of chicken juice like squirted out and it hit the table. It's like and that's amazing. Into orange. Mm. Holy crap! Oh my god! Yeah. It's so good. I chicken believe it. Polish that leg off. Mm. In the UK. Yeah, so the, the guy started the video saying that he's not sure if this is the best place for fried chicken right now. <laughs> he's completely going crazy about the food. Fried chicken is kind of trashy food. It's well, like the idea of doing it. Okay. What? Well, or even winning an award yeah. for your fried chicken. It's kind of like, it doesn't make sense. Fried chicken is... This guy ate, ate a bit in America culture. I have a feeling. Great humor, but sometimes, I don't know, maybe, mm, I'm not sure. The epitome of cheap fast food in the no. UK is dirt cheap. Mm -hmm. uh, they use low quality, maximum quantity. But here, it's like elevated, it's like a level of prestige that we just wouldn't apply to in the UK, you know? Yeah, that's like true. Finding out that Dwayne The Rock Johnson in Europe, was a In my country, it would be the same. Relative of... You, you probably do not win, <laughs> you know, award for the, the best fried chicken. But, uh, I mean, looks tremendous, so good uh, on, on the place. Charles, you know, you're like, you just suddenly start seeing him differently. Well, what I love about this, though, it's like, really, this is like a family-run place. Mm. Named oh, after okay. Willie May, the founder. It's a family- Oh, so this lady, uh, his name is Willie May? Okay, okay, this is good to know. I love, I mean, there is some lineage right uh, on, on the restaurant. Really, really, really cool. New recipe. I wonder if, if he, uh, she is still alive. This has become an institution in New Orleans. Mm. Look, uh, President Obama right there. Oh, wow, this is a famous place, I guess. And the chicken's just I mean, of course, was a famous place, but how famous? Basically, that tends to be the question. Made the same way now as it has been for generations, and it's just absolutely incredible. The thing is, it yeah, must I like be it. hard to do it this well, right? Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And yet, you don't think of fried chicken as something that would require like exquisite technique. It's, it's not. A, it's not a freaking souffle, is it? But the sheer amount of kind of bad fried chicken. To be honest, I don't like this steak that much because a lot of foods that we eat, if you really think about, they are kind of basic. But some places they do it much better than others. It's you know there is a, is a sweet science basically. Um, very small details, but they, they make a lot of difference. Shows how hard it must be. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Three years ago, Great I secretly answer. ghost wrote my best friend's autobiography and published it without his knowledge. I did not know what I was getting myself into. Okay, so I don't skip the, the ad since I'm reacting, but you guys can do it. When I became your friend. <laughs> It went on to become a global bestseller. So this year, with the help of a team of comedy writers, I did it again. There's no way. Another book. <laughs> it's a space opera. What does that mean? <laughs> Seriously, okay. guys, this book took me a year to write, and it's really good. It's available on Amazon if you want to buy it. Oh, that's I'm cool. I'm going to try this mac and cheese. The ratio of cheese. Mac and cheese, the national food of America. I said this multiple times, and people get mad, but um, it's really, really good. Cheese to mac. It's high. Yeah. It's high. Very high. It's high. I kind of wish it had a crispy top. Yeah. But let's see. Who are we to criticize? <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. That is so cheesy. That is like, Whoa. do you want a bit of mac with your cheese? Because oh, that is extremely cheesy. It's more like cheese and... Not sure if they, if they actually end up liking that because um, saying this is extremely cheesy is not really a compliment if you really think about Mac. Yeah, exactly. Well, Mac's been relegated to second place. Massively. Is this just cabbage? 
Oh, that looks good. Oh my gosh. Try it. I don't know what's going on there, but that is unlike any cabbage I've ever had. I, mean, I guess it's just flavor. Like, that's actually cabbage with flavor. We don't really have that. That's amazing. Yeah, I thought cabbage that's was amazing. supposed to be flavorless. Like, that is so much flavor. Like, you could you could have that between two what? pieces of bread and it'd be a lovely sandwich. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know? I mean, he's not wrong, probably. No, it's a bit overwhelming for me. I know. <clears throat> like. Cool it, cabbage. Yeah, yeah. Calm, <laughs> down. <laughs> calm down, cabbage, calm down. I want a candied yam. Oh my gosh, I just got a whiff of that. Oh my gosh. Okay, what is that? It smells like flipping pancakes. That's yam, is yam. Mm. Oh my gosh. I don't know what is everything that. Everything here is so overwhelming. Like, there's just so much flavor in everything. I love that. Gosh, I love the texture. Please tell me in the comments what is that, because I really have no idea. <laughs> texture of that. I do like so that, sweet. but like the cabbage, I mean, I couldn't come even close to finishing mm. that. And that's not a oh, large no. portion. Red beans and rice. Now this, in Asia, you no, have it like This is sweet. my type of stuff. It's not sweet. It's not sweet. It's like vaguely reminiscent of like refried beans. Mm -hmm. Okay. The star of the show though is the chicken. By like such a long yeah. one. I mean, that's their uh, expertise to be honest. But uh, I, I thought the presentation was incredible. All right. I freaking love this. The most important question, where does this fit in the pantheon of fried chicken that we've had over the years? That's tough. It is it is very, very different. Oh. And here are mm. those beautiful tenders. Oh, wow. Oh, there is more. Oh, amazing. Those, right here. Uh, not what I had in mind when I thought of tenders. Oh. Cheers, mate. Oh, that looks good also. Oh, the crispy mm. cracks me up. Holy moly. Wow, again, it's unbelievably juicy. It's almost overwhelming. What the heck? You know what it's I want to do? It's crazy, actually. Mash. mash up. Yeah, yeah, do mash it. Mash up. Mash gravy. Get Eight. in. Let's go. Let's go. Uh -huh. oh, oh yeah, baby. it's oh, really yeah. good. Oh, yeah. That's like a warm hug on my tongue. That's not how your cardiovascular oh. system describe it. Okay. <laughs> More like a chokehold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's correct on this one. Yeah. You thought it was a hug, but then yeah. you start kind of feeling a bit dizzy. Oh. And it's funny because there's so much yeah. flavor yeah, going on, Josh. Already. If you add, if you add on top. It's like there's not enough room in my mouth for the yeah. flavor. I feel like my fragile British taste buds are like overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. This has been supposedly the best fried chicken in America. Uh, De facto best fried chicken in the world. <laughs> so just, just one question. The, when you eat fried chicken, the traditional bread would, is normally corn bread? Or is just some places that do it? Because it's not the first time I see corn bread going with fried chicken. I still resist. What? Awarding a singular medal. I don't, I don't think there can be a single best chicken in the world. Obviously, you can't rate it against everything in the world. You haven't tried that much. That's How true. does this compare to it? I mean, it's just a fun title, to, to be honest. Chickens you've tried. Well, it's probably the best I've tried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then it could be the best in the world. Of course, but we knew that before we walked in. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I actually do think this is the best fried chicken I've ever tried. Wow. It's, it's okay. Well, wow. wow, that's big. It's incredibly that's good. Big. Willie May just absolutely freaking smashed it. Come and try it. It lived up totally to worth its it. extraordinary reputation. Yeah. In the meantime, we'll see you jolly soon. See you later, guys. Okay, great video. I mean, I hope you guys also end up enjoying this reaction. It was a bit shorter than normal. Uh, they, they normally do videos like 12 minutes, 14 minutes, 15 minutes. Today was just 8 minutes. But if you still end up enjoying the reaction, feel free to, to leave a like. Um, honest, honestly, my thoughts on this is kind of amazing, you know. Um, Fried chicken, again, I, I, I understand their point that is not the most difficult thing to do, but certain places they do it a bit better. So um, I wonder if anyone watching this video already tried fried chicken in this specific restaurant. If so, feel feel free to share your, your experience. But yeah, really, really nice stuff. Hope you end up enjoying the reaction. Do not forget to leave a like. See you guys next time. Bye.